Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Holotide, and if you are up to date on YouTube, Twitter, Reddit, Twitch, or any other form of social media, you know that there are a lot of people that either hate the Mangler or love it. People are asking for nerfs while other people don't even know how to properly use the weapon, and the weapon itself can look pretty confusing. Are those shotgun shells? Is it a handgun? Is it hit scan? Is it projectile? So today we're going to go over how you can become a absolute goblin in Halo Infinite using it. As always, Always, if you enjoy the video, throw me a like because YouTube refuses to love me. And if you really want to support me, throw a sub my way since we are so close to 10k. Like, I can almost please, please. So, let's get to know about the gun first. The Mangler has an ammo capacity of eight rounds. In multiplayer, the Mangler will drop a Spartan shield in two shots and kill an unshielded Spartan in one headshot or two body shots. It's not super difficult to get that perfect three shot, but if you don't, the TTK gets much, much longer. May not feel like that extra shot is really gonna change the gunfight, but honestly, more often than not, if I don't get that perfect three shot, I'm dead. But the real bread and butter of the weapon is to utilize the melee function. It takes only one hit to a Spartan with the Mangler and then a melee follow-up to secure that defeat. This is the way. It honestly becomes a more effective close range weapon and I think that it's better than the heat wave and shotgun. This weapon truly shines in that capacity. I actually like how potent the weapon is. And while I don't know if it necessarily needs a nerf, I think the thing that I would do is change the respawn timer for the weapon on the wall. It's supposed to be one of those mid-tier power weapons anyways, and while some of those weapons aren't great, looking at you Plasma Pistol, I think the Mangler is a very good option. I think it keeps the sandbox more fresh. And I see a lot of people asking for nerves, you know, change the melee and everything, make it a two hit. But then I feel like you get to the point where it's just so different and ineffective from what it used to be that it's almost a no point. When I die to it, I'm really not that upset because I probably put myself in the situation to get owned by it. And really, I use this weapon especially against little W key or the kids who just hold forward with the AR and they're coming to melee you, that's fine. I'll walk towards you, shoot one time, and then melee you faster than you can take my shields down and melee me. People are complaining about the AR being overpowered, but there are ways to play around it, especially with the Mangler. But that's just my two thoughts on it. Like I said, I don't think that it needs a buff by any stretch of the imagination. I actually like where it is. The only nerf that I would like to see is maybe change the respawn timer. I actually don't know if the other weapons are on the same timer when it comes to the off the rack wall mounted weapons. But that's something that I think 343 could do. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about the Mangler. Do you use it? Do you think it's overpowered? Do you think it needs a nerf? I appreciate every single one of you and I will catch you in the next video. Peace!